As the title kind of suggests, this is basically a remake of the 1988 John claude Van Damme movie Bloodsport with female fighters, and this one has Amy Johnston as Jane Jones, an American who goes to Hong Kong to find out what happened to her father. And this being a martial arts movie, it was never going to be just a simple disappearance. And this should be a very familiar storyline to anyone who's ever seen a martial arts movie. And we have Jane becoming the student of Shu, who has an ongoing feud with another trainer over a dead man, who is the boyfriend of one woman and the brother of the second. And this all centres around a high stakes tournament called the Kumite, where there's a lot of money involved, including some shady business dealings. And in the previous Kumite, the two trainers fought to a draw, and so now have been offered the chance to train young apprentices to fight for them and resolve their dispute. And this proxy battle becomes the main focus of the plot. Shu's rival takes on a thief called Ling, who also happens to be a quick and nimble fighter. But while Ling does qualify as an antagonist, I wouldn't say she's a villainess because her motivations are far from being evil. Like any good martial arts movie, Lady Blood Fight must have a brutal sadistic opponent for Jane to fight, so enter Sevietta, and she's a former Russian convict covered in tattoos, and Mersey is simply not in her vocabulary. You don't like me, do you? Not particularly. But you like everybody but me. Because you know we will meet on a platform, and I will shut your mouth. For good. Naming a decent all-female tournament film had previously been quite a challenge as women would usually appear as fighters in otherwise all-male fields and it's quite telling that the best of the rest is this mediocre offering with wrestler magnificent Mimi Lesios as well herself essentially. And yes, she does enter a kumite for revenge after somebody she knows is killed. Sadly, the action is very limited in this one, with all kinds of filler material, such as dancing in Las Vegas and boring family scenes. And when we do actually get to see some fighting, it's often poorly choreographed, with dodgy camera angles and cutaways to other stuff going on. The villainess is an Amazonian henchwoman called Inga, who breaks her opponent's spines after she defeats them in the ring. And sometimes she does snap the neck for good measure as well. Sadly, she sounds a lot more interesting than if she is, largely due to the uninspired fight scenes. Things do liven up a bit when Mimi does some snooping around the main villain's house, but inevitably she ends up back in the ring again. And needless to say, she goes on to defeat Inga in the marquee fight, and overall this henchwoman is just about memorable enough to get a mention. Thankfully, Lady Blood Fight does include some action, and lots of it. And the movie certainly lives up to its name, with lots of bloody and vicious encounters between the females in the ring. As you might expect, many of those characters get established in fight scenes in the prologue of the movie, and this has various women around the world beating up multiple opponents and impressing the organisers of the Kumite enough for them to be invited. And it's quite telling here that when it comes to Sevietta, she's the only one who doesn't fight. And that's because her fellow prisoners know just what kind of woman she is and decide to give her a wide berth in the shower. And so after spending roughly half the movie setting up the plot, the Kumite finally gets underway and we have a nervous Jane fighting first. And the fight outcomes are mostly predictable. We get Jane on the defensive before she asserts herself. Ling shows off a fighting prowess. And during all of this, Sevietta watches. And finally, the Russian gets to show just how brutal a fighter she is. And if beating her opponent to a bloody pulp was designed to be a psychological scare tactic, it certainly has the desired effect on the audience. As eliminations, including some literal ones, continue, Jane befriends a cocky Australian fighter called Cassidy, and anyone familiar with this type of film will know what's coming. <laughs>
And the way this is depicted sets up quite nicely an upcoming fight between Jane and Sevieta because the Russian is so despised by the other competitors that even Ling finds time to give Jane a pep talk. Initially this all seems fruitless as Sevieta overpowers Jane though their fight is nowhere near as one-sided as what we've seen earlier. And just as the judges were about to call the fight for Sevieta, a determined Jane rises to her feet. Revenge can indeed be a powerful motivator. Unsurprisingly, Jane goes on to beat Ling in the final and expose the shady businessman behind her father's death. 